gonna die. Maybe I know too. I saw him open his eyes and. Everybody, he wanted to save the world. He killed everybody. Whoa. My question is. What about this afterworld? Is it a dream? Oh, oh. Oh, he killed everybody. And the Buddha knows he's gonna die. Welcome to the IDC Radio 106.2 FM. You're listening to The Big Tree Sessions, a music series podcast exploring students, young artists, and the music that they love. I'm Jonathan Silber, your host, and here with me today is Jack Kazendorf, age 18, from New Jersey, in the USA, currently in the business and entrepreneurship program here at IDC. Uh, also joining Jack are two accompanying artists, Benji Weinstein, who's on the electric guitar from Cape Town, age 20, and Bashar uh, Devashi, that was close, all right, uh, who's on the electric drum kit, and he's from Shafram, and he is 19. So... Uh, Jack, can you tell us a little bit about what you just sang? That's called Ben the Buddha, and it's actually the first song I ever wrote that um, I feel comfortable playing and hope to put out there one day. Um, it's based off a short story I read by J.D. Salinger about a kid that kind of knew he was going to die, and uh, at the end of the book, that's, uh, you know... Maybe you guys got to read it, but it's called Teddy by J.D. Salinger. It's probably a book people know less about than him. So, okay, so Jack, so you came to IDC your first year. How is this going for you? It's going really well. Um, 
IDC is an amazing school. International students, um, everybody's super cool, welcoming, interesting. Um, I think I learned that business isn't for me, um, which is. Um, I had a similar feeling. Yeah. 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 Um, so trying to figure that one out, but I know it'll be uh, settled. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What uh, what are the programs that you guys are in, Bashar and uh, Benji? Uh, I'm in law and government first year. First year. How are you liking that? It's very interesting, actually. It's going very well, also. So. Sure. Benji, how's uh? Um, I'm computer? doing yeah. I'm doing computer science. I'm in second year. Um, it's a tough program, but I'm enjoying it a lot. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Jack, how did you start getting into music? So I was eight years old when I started taking lessons along with my dad, actually. We would go in together. Your father, he, he also plays music? Um, so he always kind of jokes that he started with me and then uh, he um, had to stop because I progressed more than him. But um, I don't know. I mean, he's a great musician and it's fun to jam with him when we do and yeah, it's been kind of the main thing uh, since I was eight. Now I'm 18 and still um, loving it and um, very passionate about music. Right, clearly. Uh, I mean, you mentioned to me earlier that, um, you know, sometimes you take experiences and you turn that into your music. What what type of experiences do you think you're usually putting into song? Yeah, um, definitely like a lot of thoughts in my mind that's what goes into the music that I write um and then you know sometimes I'll get together with Benji and Bashar and all the other great musicians I know and we'll jam and it's kind of just this whole improv thing that's always a lot of fun um you know just playing it out um but the words are just things that I think about throughout the day and sometimes they make it to the song yeah right i mean even the song you just played it was really like the words are pretty prof- profound like he knows he's gonna die i mean i you said it was about based off the jd salinger book but it was really like you know you could tell there was like a lot of depth a lot of depth yeah i think it's a proper first song that's what i think yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay so the next song you're playing on the electric yeah so the next grab- song you're playing with benji it's called Maybe Benji could tell us a little bit about it. It's called Put On Your Lights by Santana. Um, yeah, so Jack actually introduced me to this song. Um, yeah, it's a great song. Really nice progression. And um, yeah, I'm happy he introduced me yeah. to it because it's very fun to jam on. Uh-huh. I don't know, Benji, what type of, like, what's your music taste? Um, I only started playing guitar properly about a year ago when Corona hit. And I've oh, been wow, you progressed quite a bit quite a good bit thank you a lot of time because of um, quarantine and all of that Um, but I'm mostly into um, music like uh, the Chili Peppers I really like the guitars from there it's a big influence and um, mostly rock some blues yeah yeah okay so I'm ready when you guys are ready Cool. cool playing on Put On Your Lights by Santana
That was great. That was great. Thank you. Thanks. Have you, how did you guys, how did all three of you like come together? Um, we all met at different times and right. I was like, always thinking like, I got to get Benji and Bashar together. Um, so this is really awesome. It's a pleasure to be playing with them here today. Yeah. Right. I know Benji and Bashar, do you guys want to tell me a little bit about how, you know, you said that you started playing over Corona Bashar, you mentioned to me that you've been playing for 10 years. Uh, yeah, I, I think a bit more. I started when I was nine. That's when I first started learning in our hometown, in like in this conservatory. Mm -hmm. And I, I took lessons for like eight or nine years, something like this. Then I stopped and I continued to play without like taking in lessons. But I'm still like, uh, I'm still have my teacher as my mentor or advisor. Right. Did you have someone other than like your teacher in your life who was like introducing you to music? Uh, no, I think my te my drum teacher had the biggest part in like uh, teaching me all this different stuff. But it's also like my I mean my taste in music, the stuff that I like li to listen to. That's what like most helped me. To, like uh, right. Well, what uh I don't know who would you say inspires you musically? Like what's what's your go to artist? Uh, I would say, uh, first of all, like, John Bonham maybe had, like, quite, uh, I mean, he's, like, been a big in influence on me. And uh, Yusuf Days maybe, I got into him recently. That's, like, some kind of uh, jazz fusion, you can Whoa. say. And, of course, a lot of jazz and bebop music. Right. I'm always interested to find out the differences of taste between, like, people who are more guitar and string players versus someone who's, like, you know, on percussion. Like being on the drums, your taste of music obviously is going to be yeah. far different compared to people playing guitar. Well, not necessarily. I also play a little bit guitar. I started recently, like a couple of months ago. I also took le t took lessons, and I'm still like taking. But uh, I mean, I don't know how different it's going to be the taste. But yeah, at some level, yeah, I mean. Right. Okay. So the next thing you guys are doing for us is that you are you're jamming. You're jamming with Bashar. It's got to stand oh, up yeah. for it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Okay, I'm ready for it.
So who are your artists that are, you know, your influences? Yeah, so it started with Zeppelin. Zeppelin, Zeppelin. was uh, early on, still, you know, get together. And me and Bashar have talked about Zeppelin for a few hours at a time. Right, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> um, so then um, it really branched out from there. It kind of went into John Mayer. Mm. I mean, you, you'd mentioned to me that... Um, you know, you started with older influences, then you're moving now slowly to newer ones. Yeah. How is that, like, transition? Like, who did... You started with Zeppelin, now you're going to John Mayer. Yeah. Um, John Mayer was definitely a transition. He kind of got me into uh, into artists like the Grateful Dead. Classic, yeah. So, you know, there's the Dead and Zeppelin, my two biggest, probably, classic influences. And then... You can almost argue um, you're doing a little bit of an ensemble with the, you know, with the vest, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I bought this at a flea market. Um, <laughs> Benji, Benji, show, like Benji you looking to get one of those? <laughs> yeah, I think I need one. Yeah. So how about this? Uh, next time we have you guys on, all of you better be wearing the same vest. <laughs> cool. I, I bought this while the guy that sold it to me almost got arrested while I was buying it from him. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'm sure. It looked a little, uh, little different than what, he, what they uh, thought they were, uh, he was giving to you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, Jack, the next thing you're going to be doing is an original by you. It's called Maybe I'm Crazy. Is yeah. that acoustic or electric? It's an acoustic song. It's an acoustic. Song. Yeah. Do you want to tell me a little bit about the song before you play it? Yeah. Um, another one kind of lost in my thoughts. Um, kind of. I've always had influence and support from so many and amazing people. Um, but this song's kind of like... I know they're I know they're here, I know they're real, but it's kind of just the question of are they here? Are they real? They're real in the simulation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just me? But it's um pretty sure I know they're here, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Who knows? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, so you can go for it. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only one I don't know, why don't you tell me Sometimes I feel like I'm the only one Why don't you tell me? Oh, maybe I'm crazy. I'm looking at pictures on the wall. Some of these people, they tell me they love me And I don't even know if they're here after all They must be here, but are they real?
Sometimes I feel like I'm the only one I don't know Why don't you tell me Sometimes I feel like I'm the only one That was super pleasant. Super like, you know, relaxed vibe, you know, hanging out with friends by a campfire. Thank totally you. what that totally that's uh what it gave me. So, Jack, you also said to me that, you know, you're thinking about like entering the music industry. Yeah. How would like what what do you think your first steps would be if you would go for it? Yeah, so um um, I unfortunately have like this kind of wrist problem that's been bothering me, and mm. this is kind of an injury is going to take you out. This is going to be the last time I play for maybe a month. Um, oh wow! But I know, um, I know I'm going to figure it out after that. Okay. Um, and I've been thinking about musical routes. Um, the most recent thought is going into music therapy. Oh yeah, sure. Um, and um, I actually kind of worked on a project back home where I would play some drums with um, special need kids and it was dude that's like an amazing thing to do like even even the conceptually it's such a beautiful idea because music on its own is so therapeutic that even people who aren't necessarily looking for someone to help them with it they're turning toward music anyway for that stuff so I mean that's that's awesome Thank like if you, you go for it, I'm I'm here to support you for sure, <laughs> no question about Thank it. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, you know, um, kind of keep the mind open on opportunities in that industry, but I think that's a great start and see where it goes from there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how can people find you if they want to find out? All, all three of you, honestly, if you guys want to like be able to spread your music, like where can I find Jack Hasendorf? Where can I find Bashar? Where can I find Benji? Yeah. Where it's on the internet, like, do you have Instagram? I have Jack Music on Jack underscore 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 music. <laughs> okay, on Instagram. Um, I haven't really released anything. Okay, so yeah. you'll get there, Benji. One day. Yeah. yeah. One day. Well, I released some stuff on my like personal Instagram account, but nothing like uh, special. Uh, Just fine. Me playing. So. I'm waiting for the Bashar Spotify account to come up. Well, I'm hoping <laughs> soon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You've been listening to the IDC Big Tree Sessions podcast on the IDC Radio 106.2 FM. It's music made at home for home. Jack Kazendorf, will you play us out? I'm confused for so long it's not true I wanted a woman never barking for you Lots of people talking few of them know So a woman was created below You were hurt and abused Telling all of your lies Oh, sweet baby How you hypnotize Sweet little baby I don't know where you've been But here I am I wanna 
love you again to a certain degree but this one's no fun cause it's all I'm me mean. 